Hello guys, welcome back to your line app. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use Trust2 product reviews in Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So you might be wondering, how do you exactly start using here Trust2 product review? Now we all know that having reviews, or in this case, uh, generally speaking here, have other people's opinions in your website or your Shopify store here can boost your sale. Now, in this case, this could improve, uh, boost the trust that people can uh, put in your store and also possibly boost your uh, sales as well. So how do you exactly uh, use or add trust to product reviews? Well, obviously, first things first is you want to make sure that you've set up your store for first here. So go to Shopify.com, create your account first, create your website, set up your, uh, in this case, products, uh, design up for your shop, and a lot of those things. So it's better that you set those up first in order for you uh, before you add like any other products, like just the bare minimum here. Yeah. So since Trust Two here is not by default and not already included in Shopify here, you need to add this as an app. So to do that, you want to go to the bottom left of your screen, which is Grace Settings, and you want to open up Apps and Sales Channel at the left side here. And you want to click on Shopify App Store at the top right. Now, from here, what we need to do is we want to look for Trust2. So this one is very easy. Just go to the search at the very top here. Just type in Trust2 and just basically press enter. You should search different products or, sorry, different apps here that you could use. But want to add the Trust2.io product reviews app. Let's go and click on it. Now, the great thing about this app here is you can use this for free. So in this case, you, uh, you can use this for 50 orders requests, import 20 reviews per product, show six reviews per product, discount codes, Instagram feed, and chat support as well. But obviously, if you want to get more out of the, uh, the app here, you either need to get the basic, growth, or unlimited. But yeah, but still, if you just want to try the app first, you can just install this. Just click, click on install. Now, it will ask you if you really want to add the app itself on your uh, Shopify store. So I need to agree to that. Just click on install, what you're seeing here. And once you've added, uh, trust to here as an app, you should be able to see the main UI here. You know, great thing about the apps here on Shopify is they will guide you on the uh, let's say setup process for whichever app. Now, for trust to the IO here, first it's going to ask you what language or primary language store language you want to use. So, by default, it's going to be English. Let's go and click on continue at the bottom right here. We also have the email timing here. So in this case, you could basically uh, request or send email requesting your views. Uh, timing is going to be 15 days and also offer discount for writing reviews, like how many discount for that. Let's just say like, for, this is just an example, but you could add your own, but like 7% or 10% here. And yeah, so that's why I'm telling you like first set up your store first, uh, determine uh, the discount that you'll be providing for reviews and whatnot. I also have the email timing, but once you've done that, click on continue. This is just a setup uh, section, so we just need to fill up, fill it up. So you have the active referrals here. This actually display, displays referral widgets after purchase. Encourage your customers to recommend purchase items to their friends. So you could add like friend discount amount here. Like for yourself, it's going to be 5%. Advocate rewards here. The currency is based on the store currency. So in this case, uh, for example, mine is like Philippine Peso here. That's why it's P. But if you haven't USD, it's going to appear USD. So you could go and just add your advocate reward here. Let's go and click on continue. And by the way, you need to enable the extensibility here. So you need to add trust2.io block to your pages to activate the widget. So in order for you to do that, you just need to click on the enable button here. Click on enable. You should open up the website editor here. And from here, what we need to do is this one for the thank you page. So in this case, you could add your fair widget. Go ahead and click on the plus button here at the left side. Click on add the thank you. Once you've done that, you could go and go back. Click on the plus for auto leave uh, reviews as well. If you want to add this by this way, thank you page. And yeah, so in this case, you could go in, uh, they could just agree to this one, get discounts, whatever, go back here. So yeah, you could go ahead and uh, view it in the added uh, section as well. But once you're done that, click on save. Let's go back into a previous, previous page here. Let's go and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say enable trust to the IO app embeds, which in this case, this enables the app to use embeds into the website. Let's go and click on go enable. Again, it's going to open up the editor, but in a different way. So you just need to go to the website here. Just make sure app embed for it is going to be turned on as you can see right now. 
But once you've done that, click on save at the top right. And let's go back in here and you go and click on continue. Now, by the way, just make sure activated is now appearing in here. Now, from here, you should be able to see the widget itself. Now, the great thing about this uh, trust to uh, trust to here is you could basically edit how your widget is going to look like. We have professional, we have streamlined here. This is how the uh, reviews are going to look like. You have the star style here, display and uh, function. We also have the colors for it, the review review areas, and a lot more. Now, yeah. So if you wanna basically uh, change the look for it, this is how you do it. Yeah. Also have the Q and A widget here. So if you want to uh, customize that. As you can see right now, there are Q and A's. You have star rating as well. So if you want to customize it, write a review section. You can review that. Obviously, there's a lot here to you really customize. So depending on your plan, there are some options or some uh, customization here that may be disabled. So just keep that in mind. But at the website here, you have a bit more that we could do. Like, for example, managing your reviews. So if you have existing reviews, you can manage them in here. I'll publish them if you need. We also have the collect reviews option here. You can just request reviews to different people. You can also have the review discount here. You also have like author reviews here. So if you want to customize the check, uh, thank you page and the checkout page here. So yeah, so you can go ahead and click on it. Click on uh, go enable for checkout page here. So again, you, it, this is how like we just did before. You just need to uh, click on the plus button here if you want to add that. So yeah, so just great way for you to uh, integrate that. You also have the import reviews here, just in case like if you have reviews from a different platform, you can import, uh, import them via CSV file, import bookmark or sync drop shipment if you're using that before. Now you also have like integrations here if you wanna uh, like integrate like Google Shopping, Shopify Flow, Shop, and a lot more. But yeah, so in this case, uh, let's go and see if it's now working. Let's go and click on our online store, click on Teams, and let's go and click on customize here. So yeah, in here, just go and click on the home page at the very top, go to products. And you wanna go and click on default product. And if you go to the very bottom here, you should see a section here that says customer reviews. Which in this case, if your product already has some reviews or you imported if you already imported products in here in your pro uh in your review section, they should appear in here. But yeah, if you wanna customize how they look like, again, you may need to open up the app. So usually you wanna go to settings, go to apps and sales channel. You want to click on trust to uh, trust to the IO reviews and click on open app here in order for you to start editing or customizing the look of uh, your uh, reviews or how they are going to look like. And by the way, there's like a setup guide here that you need to do, like for example, migrating the, or importing reviews. But usually uh, it's going to guide us through the whole process, like what we did before. Usually that's generally speaking, that's how, what you need to do. And yeah, so those are the basics here in order for you to get started using trust to product reviews. And that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to line up. Thank you for watching.